Hello all, welcome again in this video. In this video, I will cover next topic from SAP master data that is service master record. Before diving into video, if you are new on my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. Also share video with your SAP friends and colleagues. Thank you. So what is exactly service master record means? It's master data for external services. So whatever services we procure from vendor or we ask them to provide us. So we maintain master data for that services. It's similar like material master, but it's for services. So it allow to store frequently procured services centrally as a master record and we can use them on cross application basis means it's like free floating data we can use for any plant or any company code service master records serve as a reference for creating service for purchase order purchase requisition or outline agreement so we can directly put that activity or service number in purchasing requisition or contract or uh, purchase order and we can directly use that service master record as a reference for that particular service so it will bring all details about that service in particular document like popr or outline agreements but it's not necessary again so if certain service that are not like more frequent and we just using one or two times so we can directly provide that service in prpo or contract so not necessary we should have service master every time we can directly put in particular document as well but for most used services we create service master record so it's optional but still we maintain for most used services then what are the t codes associated with service master record so these are the t codes so we can use t code sc01 sc03 sc02 so what are difference so when we run they won't show any difference they are similar and we can use for create it so there is no t code like to edit is different to display is different with same t code we can see and we can edit and we can create but if we come to like uh, mass creation of service master that time we prefer ac02 instead of ac03 and to create we run t code ac03 i will show you in a minute like how to create that then also to check like uh, details of services or like report for services or list of all services we can use these t codes both t codes give same details so we will see that once i show you everything in system so i will show you now in system how to create service master record so once you go into the system run t code sc03 once you run t code system will give you lastly used service by that particular user in system so this is how it look like so first i will introduce you all fields here and then i will show you how to create or copy or edit that service master record so this activity number is nothing but our service master number or we use it this number as a reference while using this service master record in pr or po again this is this number is depending on how you have assigned internal number range or external number range so if it is external then we won't provide here if internal then we may provide it manually then this is a short text like kind of description for that particular service then this service category so what is the category of that service then this tick is like short text change allow so when we use this service in any particular document like pr or po so it allow us to edit that services short text if we take this then it's a base unit of major so it's r here like you you may put whatever unit you are using or how you charging for particular service so you can put that or if it's a lump sum you may put directly for one maintenance you are paying certain amount so you may select each hour or minute or days depending on the service you are taking and how you are paying then this deletion indicator is required in case you are not going to use this service anymore and you want to delete it so you just take this indicator save and then using certain transaction like sara or whatever transaction you can delete that so that archiving is different part. then now basic data so service this basic data here we can maintain like material service group then division in case of you are using for sd 
then its valuation class it's similar like material valuation class then formula in case there are any conversion formula like hours into how many uh, minutes or uh, days or year equal to like 364 365 days or four years is so we can put certain formula graphics is again like you may put certain pictures here but for that you have to upload that from other t codes and then you just give here the path for that uh, name of that particular file here then these all other tabs are like they don't have much information but still i will show you what all what details are there so service type like its category of services then if service catalog is activated so you may provide this so service catalog is one more thing that is in configuration so i will show you later on while doing service master data configuration or service procurement configuration then it's edition then purchasing data like you can provide details of purchasing status its ean and all details of from which date it's it is valid then internal work is just conversion so i have given here r so it's giving me details like if you i wanted to use again another different unit of measure so maybe r into minutes or how i'm going to use in case of we are using this service for esd then sales and distribution details we can put here then long text maybe let's say i'm do, doing some maintenance of machine so i may give note here maintenance only allowed for saturday and sunday or that sort of things so you can give some instruction or whatever you want so these are the all field it's not big again this all tabs i will talk about so other service let's say now i'm viewing this service but i want to change the i want to see the different service so i can just go and put that service activity number and i can see that service as well so this is how you can select different service then this tab is to hide overview means you cannot see if you click on this so this tab will disappear and only you will see service screen then again this tab is to like changes and display so you can switch from you can it once you click this so you can update details and if you want to display so you can directly change in between then this tab is to create new service this tab is to copy existing service so let's say i want to use this service and i want to make a copy of this so i can copy all details and i can edit later on whatever i want then this expand will expand all tabs here that are basic data standard time and all that and collapse means it will close all tabs and it will show you like this then this is we can send this service details via email so these are the functionality then here also if you go administration information so these details will give you who have created or changed the service so that we can see here then change documents so what details have been changed into this so we can see that from this go to tab so now i will show you how to create service master exactly so just click on create so now i have told you all details so in my case system will provide number range so no need to provide it manually so automatic number range will be picked according to the number whatever number range i have assigned in background then here just provide description for what service let's say i am creating this for monthly maintenance of machine then service category so you can select whatever category is appropriate so i will show you that how to create it later on so i will select here purchasing service then what unit we gonna use so let's say annual maintenance in monthly machine maintenance in hours for particular hours so we're gonna pay on the basis of hours and you can see all the units here so i will select r here this is then basic data tab so in basic data nothing is mandatory but again we can change it so material service group so you can select it's like material group or service group so it's similar like same we use in material master as well so you can select let's say i will select here sir service so here services 
then again in case of PSD division then valuation class so it's again similar configuration we we similarly define its valuation class and everything the similar way how we defined automatic account determination and we create material group and all that so similar configuration is for services valuation class as well there is no difference then in purchasing you can provide other details if you want then again let's say long text so i may put here like saturday and sunday only allowed or you may put like whatever note you want so once you provide all details just save it so system will automatically assign number range here and that will be the, your service master record or activity number and this activity number you're going to use in pr or po so this is how we create service master now in case if you wanted to edit this service master so simply just again run t code sc03 then select which service you want to update so you just select that appropriate service let's say in my case i want to update this service then just click here on edit and then you can change this service as well like this and let's say i want to activate this or whatever changes you want to do and just save it once you've done all these changes okay then let's say i want to check all details about this service so i'm going into go and administrator data and so here you can see so who have created this service so this user 11 on this date have created this service and today i changed this service so all these details then you can check again change documents for this service as well so just go again go and click on change document details about this service so this user created it on this date then he changed few fields here then i have changed this service so again system gives me all details what has been changed and when and what is the time so it gives you log about this service master who have changed when and next is how to check the list of all services so these are the t codes and both are similar sorry it's ac05 by mistakenly i put ac04 so you can run ac05 i will correct it okay so it's ac05 or oxa1 so i will show you how to run that so i will run ac05 then if you have detail about service you can put if not you can directly execute and see all service list in available in this system so these all the services are available in this system so this way you can check details so if you select particular service then it will show you again that service so this is how you can check this t course as well so this is it in this topic it's small topic and there is nothing much in this topic so in case you have any question regarding service master you can put in comment section in other video i will cover all configuration and how to use these services i will cover that in separate service procurement topic so again put your questions in case you have and also don't forget to subscribe and share video with your friends thank you for watching see you in the next video bye